Hello Aquarius and welcome to your 2021 tarot forecast. We're going to pull a lot of different cards and look at every month specifically as well as how the eclipse cycle for 2021 is going to impact you but we are going to start with pulling the animal, the spirit animal that's working with you and guiding you through 2021. This could be your normal um, animal guide or this could be a new animal guide to you and at any point through 2021 one that you see this animal that's a special message for for you from this animal all right oh look at you Aquarius Phoenix faith transition spiritual awareness you are being guided to remove what no longer serves you from your life turn your ideas into action and they will transcend beyond your expectations as you detach doors of opportunity will begin to open and something magnificent will emerge and i just have to say saturn and jupiter have both moved into your sign and will be there all of 2021 so the phoenix showing up as well this is your year aquarius to rise up from the ashes to really release the past um, people traumas wounds emotional baggage all the shoulda coulda but didn't happen situations it's uh, going to be a year where you're shedding all of that because you are rising into a whole new dimension of self of life of experience of emotion okay so powerful powerful spirit animal if not the most to guide you for 2021 so when you see the phoenix Phoenix rising from the ashes, you hear it, you see it. This is a reminder to you of what's happening for you this year and to embrace every single change because it's leading to something quite magnificent, okay? So nice, Aquarius, I like to see that. Let's pull some highlights for the first four months of the year, the middle of the year, and then the last four months of the year. First part of the year is the vast universe. Oh my gosh, look at that. So, and that's spirit energy. The first four months are definitely uh, focused on this Phoenix energy and a lot of spiritual awakening for Aquarius. The middle of the year, we have consciousness and present power. Look at you, strong, sure, and steady through the middle of the year. And then, oh my gosh, look at what is coming true love now those of you who are already in partnership with your true love this is a true love for life for self for spirit it's a whole new dimension of emotional energy for you okay and singles out there there is a beautiful beautiful romance coming to you the last four months of the year and um, I'm gonna actually do a specific 2020 forecast for love so um, we'll touch on it a bit in this reading because we have that but I will go way way further in depth of love energies for 2021 um, in that reading so Aquarius a uh, beautiful year a blessed year okay first four months with that vast universe um, and spiritual energy a lot a lot is going to shift change and transform the first four months of the year um, which is preparing you for the middle of the year where here we are consciousness present power where you are just in a whole different mindset you are confident you are sure of yourself you're feeling good about the path of your life like truly the phoenix rising from the ash here in the middle of the year the preparation the uh, wrapping up of energies the expansion of consciousness consciousness all of that in the first part and then in the middle you're strong you're empowered things are working for you you feel unstoppable you feel stronger than you have felt in years okay and the last four months are all about love like you just being in love with life being in love with your life finding a true love 
falling deeper in love with your current partner, okay? So beautiful energies for the entire year, Aquarius. I'm going to pull a few cards to look at how the eclipse energies are going to impact you guys um, more as a guide to, to help me through the reading. But we have um, one at the end of May, one in the middle of June, um, one at the end of... Uh, well, November 19th, and then one on December 4th. So mid-year and end of year, which is when everything's popping off for you. So that makes perfect sense. All right, full moon energy and manifestation. Nice. So the first eclipse, which is the Gemini full moon, Total, total lunar eclipse, or wait, am I saying that wrong? I am saying that wrong, sorry. Sagittarius, full moon, total lunar eclipse is happening on May 26th, 2021. And this full moon lunar eclipse is bringing a huge manifestation into your world. And that's why in the middle of the year, things are, are the transition, the phoenix rising from the ash, okay? And then the uh, Gemini new moon. Oh my gosh, look at that new moon energy. You got full moon for the full moon and new moon for the new moon. There's not just um, full and new moon energy in this deck, believe me. But look at this, we have a new perspective. So you are gonna have an entirely new lease on life, May, June, powerful months for you. November, lunar eclipse energy, and this is second chances. So this is the Taurus full moon lunar eclipse that we're pulling, and look at that, lunar eclipse, second chance. So this true love, some of you may be reuniting with a partner of the past and uh, lunar eclipse energy for the total solar eclipse new moon in Sagittarius on December 4th closing doors okay some of you might not accept this love back just saying okay so Aquarius with these eclipses June or May and June beautiful months probably two of the best months of the whole year we're going to pull cards for each month but based on the eclipse energy um you're going to have a shift a manifestation which brings you into a new perspective you are like sitting on top of the world you're feeling really really empowered and then towards the end of the year with this second chance and this closing doors um yeah, there is definitely somebody coming back from your past. Could be romance, could be a friend, okay? Really desiring a, a second chance with you, Aquarius. And um, with that closing doors, that could represent like the door for this relationship closed in the past. And now it's time for a second chance. Um, or, you know, this uh, second chance that's being offered to you, you're like, no, I'm not interested, okay? But somebody definitely returning to the past, um you know, November, December, and that's a huge, huge focus for you with these eclipses. Uh, but ultimately, you're rising from the ashes. So I don't know anything that left you, hurt you in the past. I don't know that you're going to accept that back into your life because, you know, you are also coming into this whole new perspective about yourself and what is possible for you. So let's pull some cards to look at each month of the year. And uh, then I'll clarify as well. January, Two of Swords. February tree of life wow and February is your month Aquarius when the sun is in your sign and you have the tree of life who beautiful year beautiful year for you March two of cups April page of wands May the Emperor look at there you are empowered perfect uh, June, the devil. July, ace of wands. August, ten of wands. September, ace of cups. October, three of pentacles. 
November at the death card, which is significant because um, Scorpio is November, okay, and uh, Scorpio rules the death card in the tarot. And interesting is Scorpio and Taurus are on the same axis, and we do have that Taurus full moon lunar eclipse. So November is a powerful time. Um, in this look at that yeah of uh really the closing doors on your past entirely because you've become somebody brand new and look at that you end with the four of swords nice all right aquarius so january uh you start the month off or the month off you start the year off not really having any sense and knowing of what's about to unfold this year for you Okay, um, you've been uh, experienced like a lot of blocked energies and, you know, uh, Saturn has been in Capricorn, Capricorn right there, Saturn has been in Capricorn for the last three years and you've been working on a lot of soul lessons and evolution with that Phoenix showing up to guide you through 2021, okay, and so you come into January just uh, maybe not feeling the most secure I'm unsure about what the year holds, um, just kind of in a, a weird space, okay? But that shifts and changes dramatically as the sun moves into your sign with that tree of life. That is where that Phoenix energy really begins to take action for you, and everything about you is going to change. Like I said, like going into like a whole different dimension, okay? And that's represented by the tree of life. And in March, um, it looks like, you know, there's a, a connection coming in. Um, if you're already in partnership, March is going to be a very, very beautiful month for you and your partner. Okay. Some of you, this is a new relationship trying to come in or maybe even return back into your life because we do have these second chances. So March is relationship based. Um, and some of you, this uh, could be like a new friend that you're making. Okay. It's like new friend, new romance returning person or a deepening of a current connection. So March is a beautiful month emotionally. April, you're itchy. You've got spring fever. Um, you're ready for action, for movement. Like these are slower energies and come April, um, it's like you are coming back to life and that is truly like the Phoenix has risen. Okay, the Phoenix has risen and you're ready to take life by the horns. Um, there could be a lot of new energies coming into your life in April, and then you come down here in May, and you are feeling on top of your game. You're feeling empowered. You're feeling strong. You're feeling like you're making progress. You're feeling abundant, okay? And in June, you are working very, very hard. Um, it could be like you're working hard at your job, you're working hard at a change for yourself, but in June, you're very focused on what you need to um, get completed and get accomplished. And then here in July, you've got this Ace of Wands. So this is a, some more new energy coming to you, um, a new action you need to take, um, some movement in your life, a new connection coming in, okay? Um, if this is romantically, this looks like somebody that you're just going to kind of have a fling with more than a long-term serious relationship, okay? So if this is like romance, um, it starts off very hot and heavy, but by August, the end of August, it's just too much for you and you're like, no. So there might be a little fling that comes in for some of you singles in um, July and then kind of ends in August. It's like you're, you're not worse off for the connection, okay, if that's the case, but I do see that um, where... It, it's like kind of just a fast moving energy that fizzles out quite quickly. Um, but uh, aside from the relationship aspect of that, um, there's a, some new energy coming in that you're taking on. And in August, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed with responsibility, okay? Feeling pulled in a lot of directions. So June and August, you're very busy, you're working hard, and you might feel like spread a bit thin, okay? But then we come into September, the end of this year, and look at that, that true love. We have this Ace of Cups. So September is a very high potential. I would say March or September is a very high potential to meet um, this significant romantic partner for those of you who are single, okay? Um, but for others, this could indicate like a new friendship 
coming into your life and this is a friendship that's meant to be with you um, for quite some time okay or if in August you know you've uh, kind of been in conflict a bit with somebody by September you guys are, are working it out and all is well and then in October there are energies coming together for you um, what you've been working on hard is now having a big payoff for you guys in October okay so nice uh, surge of Pentacles in October and then um, here in November with this death card to me here it's where the Phoenix has risen risen okay and th th here's where the transformation of you is fully complete because eighth house energy which is Scorpio is all about the Phoenix rising from the ashes and um, things that bothered you things that ailed you um, you know relationships finances you name it you are over that you're done with that you're moving on from that the door is closing on that because you end the year in a very restful uh, energy feeling very comfortable feeling very happy feeling very content and you know um, some of you it may be where uh, you have this new romance come in and then you also have this like past romance show up for you and I really feel like you're going to end, like you're not going to give the, the returning person a chance if you've met somebody new. Maybe you thought all along, like, yes, I would. But after you meet this new person, I don't think you're going to give a second chance. And here it could be like where you meet this fling and, you know, it's like hot and heavy and then things fizzle out. And then, um, you know, you meet somebody new in September and then this person that you met earlier in the year is trying to come back in but it's just like the door is closed on that I feel for you guys I mean this is a general read but I, whoever this uh, person is coming in September where this is a romance like that's who you're gonna want and that's who you're gonna start building with and any other like emotional attachments or hopes that you had for exes like all of that's gonna die and fade away because you're so happy with this person you're so content with them you feel good about it okay and also uh, with the second chances and closing doors um, a situation or job that may have ended or closed on you in the past is going to represent itself um, in 2020 and it looks like that would be more around um, July or September October ish okay so something that ended maybe earlier in the year or in 2020 can absolutely come back to you on the second half of 2021 like um, you know if it was a job everything's normal and they want you back okay um, or this could be just like a, a situation that you were involved with and it just became too much in the past so you like separated yourself from it and it's representing itself so there's definitely an element of second chance at you know relationship or job situation for you guys but um, I just see you choosing the new energy because remember here in May this full moon manifestation something is coming in for Aquarius Aquarius right here and it makes you feel secure and empowered and the worries that you had previously they're not there and you know with all this wands energy and the, the vast universe there's a lot of spiritual activation that's happening for you especially in February okay and um, it's going to change your perception about what you've been going through and in your life and people and um, if you settled before you know you're not in that space anymore Aquarius you're the Phoenix rising from the ashes you're done with the drama and the trauma um, there is like that strong essence of second chance but whatever that means for you I don't think you want it anymore because there's already so many opening doors for you that it's like why I don't even want to look at the past like I'm very happy I'm very content with the way my life is flowing and in December the way you're feeling is you are content about the way this year played out and and the way you're ending the year whereas you may not have felt that way in the past but it's like there's a, a deep contentment um, some new connections definitely singles a uh, very significant love relationship those of you who are already partnered up I think you guys are gonna um, have a much much better year 
with each other, okay? And some of you may even be considering starting a family with that page of wands up there and this ace of cups and the ace of wands, okay? And then like building together with this three of uh, pentacles. So some of you are going to start uh, creating a family this year. So, and look at that tree of life. There you go. So I'm going to clarify um, with the same deck. It's a whole different deck. Um, but just to see if we get any duplications. All right. So for January, yeah. It's seven of cups. You're just you're really unsure as you start the year, like what the year is going to bring, and is it going to be you know the same old tune that you've been experiencing? So you have like some hopes and wishes, you know, here with the seven of cups, and um, you really do hope that it's going to be different than it has been in the past, but you're just not sure, and it could be because of your emotional and mental state as you enter 2021. It's just like. Mm, I just, I don't know, like I'm hoping for the best, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Like, I just, I I want a change or I want to be okay with my lot in life. Like, that's just kind of where you are as you start the year. And then um, look at that for February, Tree of Life with the Hierophant. This is when things are really now shifting inside of you and your consciousness and your emotional body and there could even be like some DNA and light code activation taking place for you Aquarius because you are the Phoenix rising from the ashes okay um, but February is a spiritual month where you're very in tune with yourself with your intuition with the angels and um, you know like everything's gonna be okay like things are, are changing, like you just feel it from the inside and you know everything's going to be okay and you're starting to feel like your prayers have been heard because of um, the way the energy is shifting for you in February, all right? So let's uh, look at March. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups with the Five of Wands. Now, this is some internal conflict um, happening for you about some, you know, relationships. This could also be um, where, you know, this relationship ends in March and then this person tries to come back in, you know, in uh, July or September. Okay, that's definitely a possibility. It's a general read. Um, but this is just uh, like uh, some conflict within you about you know different relationships in your life or love in general and what's good for you and you know if somebody's not treating you right I feel in March like you're gonna walk away from it Aquarius like you're just done I'll walk my journey alone I'll um, you know miss you and I'll be just fine like I'm tired of this I'm done I'm really taking a stand for yourself in relationships all relationships friends family romance like um, you're, you're just not in that space anymore. You don't want to fight. So if somebody's just nothing but like chaos and drama for you, um, I think you're going to finally put them in their place. Even if it's somebody who means a lot to you, Aquarius. Also, um, somebody trying to offer you their cup in March. Even if you're interested, um, you might not quite feel ready to get fully committed in just yet. Um, or it's like um, because of what you've been through, it's hard for you to just open yourself right up and accept this cup even though you are interested, okay? So let's take a look at April. All right, yeah, April. Um, you are like, here it is, the phoenix has risen from the ashes and you have a new lease on life and you're feeling excited and inspired again and you're um, ready for a new adventure. You're ready to put in work and energy and effort, do whatever it takes. Like you're just feeling really good and optimistic and positive in April, okay? And also, um, this could indicate that you have a new friend that's coming into your life in April, and uh, this person could, you know, be part of the reason why you feel like you're coming back to life and you're feeling excited again. Um, you just really enjoy their company. They're a fun person. So um, some of you, a nice new friend coming in in the month of April. Oops.
All right, so let's go to May. For May, we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, here you are. Um, you are no longer plagued by troublesome, worrisome, negative, pessimistic thoughts. Like you've overcome that major empowerment for Aquarius. So in May, it's like you are in charge, you are in control. And anybody who does not have like the best intention or is like sneaky and shady, you're really going to put them in their place. Like you're not putting up with crap from anybody, Aquarius, in 2021. You are so strong and empowered and you just like know what's right, what's wrong and what's good for you. And you're not putting up with it. You're not hearing any lies. Um, you're calling people out. You're putting them in their place. Okay. And also with this, what has been taken from you in a very, very unfair way, it now returns to you in a new form in the month of May, Aquarius. So May, very, very positive energy in June. Yeah, look at you. You are working hard. Okay. You have your eye on the prize of something that you really, really want. And you are putting every bit of you into it to make it happen, to make it manifest, okay? So June, you are focused on creating and manifesting something. And it's like nothing else, like other things are trying to get your attention, okay? But you're like, no, I, my eye is on the prize. This is what I want. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make this happen, to manifest this for myself. And you just have this uh, beautiful determination that I feel you maybe didn't have access to in 2020 and prior. Oh, yeah, look at that. So the Ace of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Um, July could bring a new home for you. Okay, you could be moving home. Um, you could be moving from a roommate situation into a living situation all on your own. Those of you who are partnered up, um, if you are able to still make babies, uh, take extra precaution in July, okay, because there's definitely some fertile energy for baby making in July for couples. Um, and then, you know, singles where this is like this new romance coming in, yeah, it feels hot and heavy. You guys feel like, oh, we could be together forever, but it, it, it quickly fizzles. I don't know why Spirit's bringing that up because maybe in July, like when you meet this person, you think, oh, oh, this is the one, but it looks like the one truly comes in September, okay? This might just be a dry run to really get your energy shifted and open to receiving this beautiful Ace of Cups, okay? But um, aside from romance, this is definitely um, a door opening for you. So a new home or a new job, um, a big, big move for some of you and oh, look at that on this ten of wands the ace of cups oh you got the ace of cups in September okay yeah so this love that showed up for some singles in July in um, August it's just too damn much it's too much um, I don't know if it's like the demands of this person if it's their energy, what it is about them, but this new love that was just offered to you in July, it's like, nope, it's too much. It's too much for me. I, I'm, uh, I'm done with this, okay? And for others of you, because you have this Ace of Wands, okay, with the Ten of Cups, so um, movement, change, um, you absolutely love it, okay? If this is a new job or a new home, a new location, you absolutely love it. But you might feel a little overwhelmed at first, trying to familiarize yourself and get comfortable in your new environment, in the new energies, etc. But you're going to love it, okay? You are absolutely going to love it. All right, here in September... We have the Ace of Cups with the Chariot. So here it is. This is a beautiful new romance coming in, which could be a true love here, okay? And um, those of you already in partnership in September, you and your partner may be going on a lovely vacation or buying a dream car, okay? You're very, very happy in September couples um, with what's happening. It's like travel or like purchasing a new car. Um, maybe even... Um, 
Okay. Because we saw the, the, the baby making, right? Um, in September, you guys might be deciding, okay, yeah, let's try for this. Or if you were trying for it, you find out in September that there's a baby on the way. Okay, so that's definitely a message for some of you. Um, but overall, in September, Aquarius, uh, the movement coming in, the success, the victory, the new purchase, you absolutely love it. You're very happy. And this um, being like a new romantic offer, it it's uh, like you have that potential in here where it shows us the Ace of Wands, which is very hot and heavy. This is more emotional and soulful. Okay, and it might like the emotions might move very, very quickly, but um, it's not just like this intense physical connection type of energy. Okay, there's attraction and all that here, but this is definitely soulful and you see a lot of potential and long term energy with this person. All right, so let's take a look at October. Yeah, that new relationship coming in, you guys are building on that emotion in um, no, October, so that's awesome. Also, um, this right here, your energies and efforts, because, you know, we see you very focused and working hard, you know, in these months, and here it is, you're finally getting the payoff, okay? You're getting a break, um, you're getting a raise, you're receiving manifestation, you see growth and progress being made, and it's very emotionally fulfilling for you, um, but also with this, this could be um, that person from the past trying to return, whether it's friend or ex-romance, saying to you, hey Aquarius, I really want to work on it this time, okay? So strong probability of returning person in October and then in November here you are showing us strength with the death card um, anything that's returning I just think um, in November you're gonna be like no because Phoenix rising from the ashes is complete here and you're like no I've I've evolved beyond this relationship this situation this job this old dream or desire whatever it is it's like no I've evolved beyond this that's dead to me now I'm somebody different and this person isn't in alignment with that person I used to be you see the tiger there you got a tiger and a lion showing up um, that's how strong you are and in the past you may not have had the strength to say no to this person or this situation but in November of 2021 absolutely and you you feel confident in that like there's no sadness here okay um, and also uh, talking about the activation of Phoenix rising from the ashes being complete here you are Aquarius an unmovable unstoppable force that um, is sure of self is confident of self feels empowered knows their future knows where they're headed where you start the year kind of just really ungrounded as you near the end of the year that's not the case anymore and lastly for December look at that finally a rest and a reprieve from poverty from not having enough uh, from rejection, from broken heart, from all these scattered energies when you first started the year, you are fully healed and you are ending the year sleeping like a baby, feeling good about yourself, about your life, about your relationships, about your job, about all the hard work you've done and the way that it has paid off. And um, I just see like as you are finally over all of this, that's when certain people are going to try to come back into your reality for a second chance. And Aquarius, I just don't see you accepting them. I don't. Um, if they show up earlier in the year, like, um, you know, July, August, uh, you might entertain the idea a bit more, okay? But if they don't show up until, like, um, you know, October, November-ish, by then you don't care anymore because this energy, this Ace of Cups that's being offered to you in September is truly what you want and you feel fulfilled by it, okay? You feel happy 
um, with the way your life is now going with these new energies. And you got the Ace of Cups twice and you got the Ace of Wands. So there is a lot of emotional happiness happening for Aquarius where you didn't have that in the years prior. All right. Um, and connections getting much, much easier for you guys. Uh, shedding shitty people. Aquarius, like you're done with those relationships. It's it's game over. You're strong now. You don't need them. And you finally realize that. And you are putting in so much energy, work, and effort to build yourself, to build your foundation, to build your career, to build your money. And it's going to have beautiful payoff for you. Okay. So let's, um, let me see if there's anything else that Spirit wants to say. Just know as you see that phoenix throughout the year, that's your special message. Like, don't ever give up. Don't ever give in. You um, are rising so high from where you've been. And as you end 2021, you're just a whole different person. You actually feel like the universe is on your side. Okay. And some of you aligning to your true, true love. Whether that's, um, you know, relationship or your job or a location that you're going to move to. It's like you are in love as you end the year. Prayer. Dear Guardian Angels, help me to dissolve past guilt or regrets. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. And that's what you're coming into in every way this year, Aquarius. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.